exposition based on Psalm the 25th, verse 7 from the Treasure of David, written by Dr. Charles Spurgeon, the Prince among the Preachers. Remember not the sins of my youth. Sin is the stumbling block. This is the thing to be removed. Lord, pass an act of oblivion for all my sins and especially for the hot-blooded wanton follies of my younger years. Those offenses which we remember with repentance, God forgets. But if we forget them, justice will bring them forth to punishment. The world wings at the sins of young men, and yet they are not so little after all. The bones of our youthful feastings at Satan's table will stick painfully in our throats when we are old men. You who presumes upon his youth is poisoning his old age. How large a tear may wet this page as some of us reflect upon the past. Nor my transgressions, another word for the same evils. Sincere penitents cannot get through their confessions at a gallop. They are constrained to use many bemoanings for their swarming. Sin smite them with so innumerable griefs. A painful sense of anyone, sin provokes the believer to repentance. For the whole mass of his iniquities, nothing but the fullest and dearest burden will satisfy a thoroughly awakened conscience. David would have his sins not only forgiven but forgotten. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. David and the dying thief breathed the same prayer, and doubtless they grounded it upon the same plea. The free grace and unmerited goodness of Jehovah. We dare not ask to have a portion measured from the balance of justice but we pray to be dealt with by the hand of mercy. May God bless you, dear friend in Christ and Solomon Raja.